Now, I have two reasons why I become a champion of the smallholder woman. And Smrita said that I'm a champion woman. Number one is my mother was a smallholder farmer in China 40 years ago. I observed how hard she has worked. You know, she had to spend 12 hours, 14 hours a day in farming, but in the meantime, taking a lot of time preparing food for us and to make sure that we, we can go to school with school fees. So she was really a champion. I mean, she died a couple of years ago. I think without her, I wouldn't go to college. I wouldn't go to the U.S. I wouldn't work for International Food Policy Research Institute for 25 years. So my second reason, actually, was because I worked for the International Food Policy Research Institute for 25 years. I learned so much from our women researchers. So they developed an index called the Women Empowerment in the Agriculture Index, WIA, that has six dimensions, as you all discussed. For example, women's decision in production, yeah, using inputs, women's control of income, and a women's uh, time. You know, we have not said much about it. Women spend so much time in preparing foods, in taking care of their children, in addition to farming. And the Green Revolution in China happened in the 70s, actually increased women's time. Instead of two crops, we introduced three crops. Who is going to work more? It's women. So then leadership, absolutely. So, and income control. Who controls income in your household? Leadership, particularly in community. Not well. I, th I think China made a tremendous progress in empowering women in narrowing the gender, gender gaps. But I think at the local community, there are not hidden, hidden gap, or hidden dis discrimination. I just mentioned a couple of things. One is the land rights. On paper, the men and the women are entitled to have men. But if you observe, if a woman marries out, move to outside the village, she's not going to bring that man to different places. If a woman is going to marry in, this, there will be no new man for her. So, Hidden discrimination is very critical on land rights. Then um, access to agricultural and extension services, I think my friend Mathieu will tell you, the smallholder farms do not have access to agricultural extension services because most of the extension agents are men, not women. So yes, you know, you know, women are not comfortable in talking with the men extension agents. Then lack of access to finance markets that you all mentioned. And women also work proportionally more in informal sector, processing, food processing, food transportation, food traders. These are the groups, these are usually not protected, discriminated by many. Now, obviously, um, lack of decision making power at the village level. You know, what technologies, what crops they produce, uh, I think there are lots of uh, rooms to be improved despite the tremendous progress China has made. So how do we move forward from here? We heard that there will be new United Nations from the two sessions, proposed, proposed new United Nations from, two, from the two political sessions, the protecting women's power and so on. I think equally important is to implement them. We introduce lots of regulations and laws, particularly land rights, but we have done a bad job in implementing them to make sure that women do have equal access to assets. Now, finally, I also wanted to mention a couple of them. One is technology. You know, currently, I'm a CIR board member of the International Global Agriculture Research um, Network. I think technologies must have a gender lens. When the new technology is introduced, it actually requires more time from women. High yielding crops or maybe fruits, vegetables, or we want to diversify our food production. That requires more time for women. Let's make sure that uh, they are not going to be, let's say, uh, satisfied because of new technologies. Then research. I think many mentioned that we have a huge gap in research. We do not connect the data that disaggregated by sex, men and women. And without that, we can always talk, but without solid evidence. So as a researcher, we wanted to push for that. In my research group, 80% of the research of young females and we really want to empower them to take that issue more seriously. Thank you.